Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime this morning. My name is Natalie and I am a librarian at the Comox branch of Vancouver Island Regional Library. And I'm so happy that you can be here with us today. Do you think you could put your hands up and we'll sing our Roly Poly song? Sounds great! Okay, here we go! Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, up, up. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, down, 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 down. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly, out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, in, 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 in. Rolly poly, rolly poly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly poly, rolly, rolly poly, slow, 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 slow. Yay! <laughs> okay, so for t uh, story time today, we're gonna need a couple extra special uh, things to help us. Um, one thing that maybe you can get from your home is a hat. Do you think you have a hat that you can use for story time? A silly hat is the best, but any hat will do. It doesn't matter what kind of hat. And we'll put it on our heads. Just like that. Does that look good? There. We're going to do a story time all about hats. Then after our story, we're going to do a couple um, scarf songs. So if you have a scarf or a tea towel or a handkerchief or a blanket even, anything like that, that you wanna wave around and throw in the air, that would be great. So you can go get that too. Okay, let's start out by saying a poem. We're gonna sing a poem, say a poem together um, about a hat, um, and it's called "These Are Grandma's Glasses." Okay, so we're gonna have glasses for Grandma, a hat for Grandma. Okay, so it goes like this: These are Grandma's glasses, and this is Grandma's hat. <clears throat> this is the way she folds her hands lays them in her lap. These are grandpa's glasses. <laughs> this is grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his arms and takes a little nap. <laughs> Let's do that one again. You can do that again with me. Get your glasses ready. These are grandma's glasses. And this is Grandma's hat. This is the way she folds her hands and lays them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses. And this is Grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his arms and takes a little nap. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, so we got a poem read. And now I'd like to read you a very special book called The Hat. So this book was written by Jan Brett. She's the author. And she also is the illustrator. That means that she wrote the words and she drew all the pictures by herself, which is amazing. She did a really good job. Um, and we're going to also thank Putnam and Sons for um, allowing us to share this book with you today. They're the publishers. Okay, this book is called The Hat. Do you see a hat? I don't know if I see a hat. I do see a sock and it's on somebody's head. So maybe it is a hat after all. Maybe he thinks it's a hat. 
we'll have to find out what happened in the story. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Hey, I hope you can see. <clears throat> Winter was on the way. Lisa took out her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. There she is. She's getting all her warm winter clothes out. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. See that? She's hanging them up on the line. And there's one missing. I think it blew away. Who do you think is going to be coming? There he is. Curious, Hedgie found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgie thought. Look at that. What do you think Hedgie is? Hedgy. I think I'm going to take this hat off. I think Hedgy is a hedgehog. His body is covered in prickles. Go. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Oh, poor Hedgy. <laughs> he can't get the sock off. Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea, and off she ran. Do you think Hedgie's hat is beautiful? I do, even though it's not really a hat. Hedgie saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that, the hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, Gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry, said Hedgy. The Gander thought for a moment, and off he ran. So, I wonder who's going to come by next? Oh, yep, there's the cat. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgie tucked, tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm, said Hedgie. Hmm, purred the cat, and off he ran. He goes in the snow. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgie in a patch of brambles. Uh-oh, poor Hedgie. He's <laughs> really stuck. Hedgie, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgie said. The farm dog's ears perked up, and off she ran. I wonder where everyone's running to. Who's coming next? Pig. There's the pigs. Oink, 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 the piggy squealed. What are you up to, Hedgie? Mama Piggy asked. Making sure my hat doesn't fall off in an icy wind. I see, said the mummy pig, and off she ran. Oh, and there's the horse. Hedgie, what is that ridiculous thing? Thing on your head, the pony snorted at Hedgie. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgie shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgie was usually so friendly, and off he ran. Poor Hedgie. He still can't get the hat off. <laughs> He's trying. Oh. Who's that? Hedgie just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit in his den. Poor Hedgie, he looks so sad. Do you think the little girl will come and find him? I hope 
she does. Oh, there she is. He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgie thought. Even the girl is laughing at me. Oh, now he's running away. <laughs> she has to chase him. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgie's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Oh good, she's gonna get the stocking off Hedgie's head. Hedgie headed for his den and Lisa started back towards the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. Oh no. What do you think happened to the rest of her winter clothes? Hmm, I wonder. Oh look. Who has the rest of the clothes? All the other animals. They actually thought Hedgie was smart being keeping warm for the winter, didn't they? The animals had taken them and each one was thinking, now I am wearing a magnificent hat. <laughs> Poor Lisa, she's lost all her clothes. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgie reached his den. How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes, says Hedgie. <laughs> and they're all running around the yard. <laughs> the end, poor Lisa. <laughs> and there at the end is a pile of laundry. Ready to go for the winter. I think she got all her clothes back <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put my hat back on my head because it was falling off and we're gonna take hats on. Put our hats on. And this is a silly hat song. Okay, are you ready? On my head, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my head wiggle wobbles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Where else should we put our hat? Besides our head. Um, I'm gonna put my hat on my elbow. Can you put your elbow up? Can we put a hat on our elbow? On my elbow, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my elbow wiggle wobbles to and fro. Where else should my silly hat go? Where else should we put our silly hat? How about uh, my knee? I'm gonna try to put it on my knee. There you go, it's on my knee. On my knee, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my knee wiggle wobbles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Okay, should I do one more, one more spot? Where else can I put it? Hmm, I think I'm gonna put it on my foot. I think it'll fit perfectly on my foot and it actually does. It fits perfectly on my foot. It fits better on my foot than on my head. Okay, do you think you can put your feet in the air and Wiggle with them and wiggle them. Okay, here we go. On my foot, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that my foot wiggle wobbles to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Yay! Back on my head. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Okay, and now let's do a couple scarf songs. Do you think you can get a scarf or blanket, handkerchief, whatever you want, piece of cloth. And we're gonna sing um, a song called uh, My Scarf It Has Four Corners. Okay, so we're gonna hold our scarf up. Four Corners Has My Scarf. 
scarf it has four corners four corners has my scarf and had it not four corners it would not be my scarf one two three four okay now we're gonna say a blanket my blanket has four corners four corners has my blanket and had it not four corners it would not be my blanket one two three four okay what else has four corners my pillow can you make your scarf into a pillow my pillow has four corners, four corners has my pillow, and had it not four corners, it would not be my pillow. One, two, three, four. Let's do a superhero cape. There we go. My cape, it has four corners, four corners has my cape, and had it not four corners, it would not be my cape. One, two, three, four. And last but not least, we can do a hat with our scarf. Okay. My hat, it has four corners, four corners has my hat. And had it not four corners, it would not be my hat. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. And now let's do my favorite scarf song, which is called Popcorn Kernels. And this is just for fun. Love this song. So bunch your scarf into a big ball. Or actually, bunch your scarves into your hand like this. Go. Popcorn kernels, pop. Corn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Can do that one again. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Them. Shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Yay! Good job! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming today. Um, it's great seeing you. I hope you had fun and that you can do this hat song and a lot on your own at home. And now we're going to sing goodbye. So we're going to do sign language. So we're going to hold up our hands. And we've got two friends, one friend here, one friend here. They give each other a big hug. Okay. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.